Welcome to TO Markets Daily Market Commentary. I'm Jan Mota, Chief Market Analyst for TO Markets, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first ever Daily Market Commentary video. You'll have these in your inbox in the future every morning if you just subscribe. But before we move forward, forward <laughs> let me show you the ever so important disclaimer, just to remind you that we do not provide investment advice. So another thing I want to remind you is the webinar coming up today at 3 p.m. We have limited seats available, but if you go to tiomarkets.com slash webinars, you can go and secure your seat. So go there as soon as possible, just to make sure you are not disappointed. In today's market news, we have RBA leaving the rates at 0.25 as expected and they didn't move the market much. The uptrend is still intact in Aussie USD. And if the market had been very violent, breaking support levels, that obviously would have been a different story. And I show you in a moment what I mean. China manufacturing PMI came in again better than expected. So this supports the Australian economy. So whatever happens with China, is going to impact Australia and that the way to trade these changes really you know Aussie USD that's the answer go to Aussie USD chart see where the trend is going see where the supports and resistances are and that's your toolkit for trading the Chinese economic developments USD the other side of Aussie USD equation has been weak across the board. So obviously at some stage, the market has to snap back. It can't be going one way all the time. But at the moment, it seems that USD is weak. Aussie USD is trending higher. So let's stay with the trend until it turns. We don't have to be the heroes trying to pick up the exact lows and, and highs of each market, it's much better to red, let the market tell you what it's going to do and then trade with the rest, trade with the flow. Otherwise, you're just fighting the market, which never is a good thing for a trader. US technology stocks just keep on outperforming. We had a bit of correction yesterday from Dow and S&P, but Nasdaq had yet another up day yesterday. So it is likely that there will be retracements at some stage, but the money has been flowing into technology stocks and lifting Nasdaq index higher. Now, S&P has technology stocks also. So it's, it's an index that consists of wide variety of different stocks but it also has technology stocks. And at the moment, the, the weightiest, the biggest sector in S&P is technology. So whatever the Nasdaq does, the S&P tends to do also. It follows what Nasdaq does. In the, in the sort of economic front, we had, or we will have rather, manufacturing PMI coming out today, 54.6 is, is expected and it would be yet another improvement in the US economy. So let's keep following the currency markets, the, the dollar pairs and oil and also the, the, the stock indices, the equity indices to see how they react to this number because also you should keep in mind that our opinions or analyst opinions in general don't mean a thing if the market decides to have a different opinion. So the market's opinion is always the only relevant opinion. So when you have both the, the underlying economy, underlying fundamental conditions and the technicals, the price action, the market agreeing, then you have a strong case to take a trade. But if you want to learn more about this, come into my webinars starting from 3 p.m. GMT today and I'll show you what to do and how to improve your trading. 
Let me also remind you that you can come to our website. If you type in tomarkets.com slash analysis, you can find my daily market analysis and I'll show you what's been going on, what markets are moving, what levels might be key levels and what to look for. So basically, this is a valuable source of information and should help you tremendously in your trading business. So I look forward to seeing you soon in my webinars. And until then, thank you and trade safe.